there, everyone. Oh, crap. It happened again. Okay. How's it going? All right. I'm back, and I'm here with a JPEG edit. Uh, usually, I edit raw files. Those were the last two videos that I made were raw files. Um, I decided to do a JPEG today because I have some old JPEGs camera that didn't take raw files, etc., etc., learning and such. So even though I have all these old photographs that aren't raw files, I tried editing one in raw therapy the other day, and it actually worked out quite well. Though they're all high-res um, JPEGs, the highest possible, um, biggest size I could do on the camera I had, which is a hot pink Canon PowerShot. And um, I figured, you know, some of them are really good. Like, some of them are really nice pictures. And even though they may have been, like, edited in camera, um, they're still not, you know, awesome or anything. Like, as far as color and such, you can see this is pretty flat going on right here. So, um, yeah, I figured I would do a quick walkthrough for those who maybe aren't professionals or got vacation pictures or something that were all taken in JPEG or just old photos that, you know, you know, like, well, that's really good, but I can't do anything with it or whatever. So this is for that. Um, okay, so this is all blown out right here, you can see. We're going to do highlight compensation. First, we're going to bring this down. And we're going to do highlight compensation just a smidgen, just enough to bring the detail back, but not enough to wash out all the highlights. So maybe 25, 30, I don't know, 35, that's a little bit much. I'll probably get away with 25. I'm going to probably do 30 for right now. Um, yeah, do highlight compression at 5. The blacks, we'll save those for later. Um, lightness may not be to be cranked up. First things first, we took care of the washed out places. Now we're going to do contrast. And because I already filmed this once before, and because I do it live, um, no edits. Um, my microphone was messed up and not working. So like the whole video is me talking, but no sound. So, um, I've already been through this once. So this should be super quick. Um, if I can just stop talking and get right to business. So 45 for contrast. Boom. You can see it just pops. Might need to adjust the highlight reconstruction. Um, maybe. I don't know. Turn down the threshold to zero. Switch this to 25. And maybe 20. 35. Now we're getting some 40, 45, right, let's leave it at 45 for now. Saturation, we're going to boost that right up to 20 because we really want the sand to pop and everything else. Um, lightness, don't think we really need that at all because it's going to wash out the image and totally cancel out the contrast in this case. So we'll leave the lightness alone. Um, for right now, I'm like in the detail there. Blacks, we can give those a try. See how she goes. And then we reset. And yeah, I really didn't do much. This is what would happen if you were to crank them right up. That's the blacks. Looks pretty cool, eh? And you can do it like there's a little bit of color all coming in, but it's still really dark, which is really artistic. It's like really cool. Not what I'm going for, but a good option if. I really wanted to get fancy artistic with um, my pictures. So we're not doing that right now. Um, let's see, 50. Reset that. I don't really make much of a change. But it doesn't hurt to have it on. Shadow compression, we can turn that down. 10. Okay, sharpness. I'm going to turn that on. I usually put some sharpening in there. It's not a whole lot, just enough to kind of meh. Just because it makes me feel better. You don't have to do that, but it makes me feel better. Um, white balance. This is what happens when you reset it in this case. Ah, so blue. Um, 
and we're not doing that. So maybe 6,800. That's uh, like really warm. 66. A little cooler. Um, let's see what 67 looks like. Really warm. Let's stick with 66. I like the coolness in the water, but the warmness in the sand. So, um, yeah, that's good. And you can see, like, this isn't something that you would want to, like, print, like, on a big, you know, canvas or whatever, because you can see that it's got, like, noise and stuff in it, because it's a JPEG. Um, probably, actually, I'm, like, 99.9% .9 sure that this would not happen if it was a raw file. Raw files are super clean, like straight from the sensor, no, you know, dilly-dallying around in the camera, making edits and stuff. Like, it's just what you see is what you get. And they're really easy to work with. And they're super versatile. And yeah, you can totally tell that this is not something you want to print. This is more for like, spicing things up to put on Facebook or in a gallery, maybe a portfolio. Um, but only if the image is like amazing and it's a JPEG and there was no other like format where you lost the raw file, which has happened to me before. Anyway, um, this was supposed to be short. So yeah, I think that's about it. I'm pretty sure that that's the edit. Um, I wonder if I'll lose, okay, wait. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit the metadata because there's no real, oh, I already took that. Oh, it's right. I edited it. Awesome. I always want to make sure to check your EXIF. Um, put your name if there's an artist section, put your name in there. Um, if there's a copyright section, put your name in the copyright, blah, blah, blah. Um, that protects your images to some extent. It's better to have it than to not have it because then you know which images are yours and you can check in that, which is embedded in the picture. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I was going to go back to neutral, um, but because I haven't saved this yet, so it's whatever. But we can do this. This is without contrast, but all the other changes, that's with contrast. You see the difference. It's fantastic. Love raw therapy. Photo editing. Yay. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.